Hello and welcome to this Alpha Audio video. In this video, we're gonna talk about the Primer i35 all-in-one amplifier with Prisma module and the new deck board, the DM36. Check it out. People that check out our videos and read our website alpha-audio.net know that we actually do really like Primair and of course it's a matter of taste but I do like the design, I do like their pricing and I do like their sound. We had a couple of Primair products in our uh, comparison tests like the uh, I don't know, the i15 Prisma amplifier was streaming. Uh, we had the phono stage recently. We have the R35 phono stage in our reference setup even. And we had a couple of amplifiers just as a separate review unit. And every time I notice that I like their sound, it's not too dry, it's playful, it's detailed enough. And I know that the whole styling makes me very calm. There are no buttons on the front that you don't need. It's all very solidly built. And then the pricing, you think, well, this must be uh, three, four thousand euros. And then it's around two or fifteen hundred even. So, yeah, I do. I just, I just do like their way of working. Um, we also had an interview with Primair, and during that interview. Two words came up every time, and it's also on their website, and yeah, it's kind of a marketing stuff thingy. But Lagom and Hige um, is their way of working, and Lagom means just enough, finding the balance, and uh, Hige means being together, uh, have a cup of coffee, and just be together and be happy. Something like gezellig in, in the Netherlands, I think. Um, now, Hige is very hard to explain and reflect on a product, but Lagom has to be, there, there has to be some ways of reflecting that in your product lineup. And I guess they, they do try that. Um, there are more brands that are very minimalistic and very reasonable in pricing, of course, but Primair actually mentions it. And uh, we, we can try to find the, their Lagom in their products. And with the i35, I was really trying to find the Lagom and I guess it's there, but it's a very hard product to find that balance of just enough uh, because it's an all-in-one product and all-in-ones do everything. And that's not very Lagom to start with, uh, I think at least. Because it's a streamer, it's a deck, it's an analog uh, power, uh, power amplifier, pre-amplifier, and altogether it's an all-in-one and that's a lot of features but if you are in the market for an all-in-one product with streaming there has to be some product that knows how to find the balance between easy to operate um, offering every connection you need and look very stylish and minimalistic and i think primer actually pulled it off to do that um, if you look at other all-in-one products, uh, most of them have all kinds of bells and whistles and lights and LEDs in the sides and large displays with all kinds of colors. Uh, you know, you probably know what I mean. And this is actually a very analog looking product and very minimalistic. So in that way, it is Lagom because there are no buttons you don't need. There are not really any connections you don't really need. I wish they had implemented HDMI, for example, but it's not there because probably not a lot of people are going to use that. Um, speaking of connections, you have, of course, Ethernet in, you have wireless in, if, in case you want to connect it wirelessly. You have balanced analog inputs, analog single-ended inputs, coaxial, optical, USB, and even 
I think some form of triggering or RS-323 for automation in your home. That's a lot of connectivity for a integrated amplifier. Well, it's an all-in-one amplifier, but you know what I mean. On the front, there are very few buttons. There's actually input volume uh, on and off, of course, and that's about it. So it looks like every other primer on the front, but on the back, you can see it offers a lot of uh, connectivity. On the inside, um, there is their UFDP2 amplifier technology, if I'm correct. Um, it's a class D amplifier, but it's their own design. And um, I, what I like about Primer is that they really, really focus on the power supply. And you can think, well, it's class D, so it doesn't matter. Well, it matters especially with class D because it directly mod uh, modulates the power supply. And what they did is make a very, very big power supply to make it very stable and very dynamic. Well, you can say all you want about that. We measured it. It should be able to put out 150 in 8 ohms and 300 in 4 ohms. It actually did more. So it's not all marketing. They do deliver what they promise. About the new deck board, it's the DM36. Uh, you can actually upgrade it. Uh, this new deck board offers all well, everything you want from a modern deck board. It, it, it does MQA, for example, if you're in that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't really care about MQA anymore, but if you like MQA, it does it. You don't have to use it, of course, but it's updated with all modern technology, all modern clocking possibilities and stuff like that. So it should sound better. And if you want to upgrade, it's possible because you can buy it for 900 euros and you can swap it out with your old board. And that's a very nice upgrade path for people that already own an i35 with streaming and want to have a better deck board. So I, I like that about Primer. There are more brands that do, do that, but actually I think every brand should do that because it, it prevents e-waste. It's very friendly to your customers and most of the time, that's the only thing that's actually upgraded. I mean, an amplifier will stay very good for a very long time. The casing will stay very good for a very long time. So most of the time, it's only the digital part that is updated or upgraded and evolved. Well, in this case, you can swap it out with the new DM36 and you're ready to go for 900 euros instead of five grand, because that's the pricing of this all-in-one. Well, we're going to uh, write a full review on the Primer i35, of course, with all measurements we have, including the new deck board. Uh, it will be published on alphaaudio.net and it will be published very, very soon. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.